The ovarian cycle starts in the first day of the menstrual cycle. The normal sex cycle that includes development of an ovarian follicle, rupture of the follicle, discharge of the ovum, and formation and regression of a corpus luteum. The ovarian cycle is subdivided into two phases, the follicular phase and the luteal phase. The follicular phase starts with the development of about 20 follicles in the ovary under the stimulation of the hormone FSH released from the pituitary gland. These follicles grow steadily, releasing the hormone estrogen into the bloodstream. At around the 10th day of the follicular phase, one of the follicles becomes distinctly larger than the others. It continues to grow, becoming larger and larger to become mature. This is then called the dominant follicle. While the growth of the others are arrested, these eventually die out. The estrogen released by the follicles acts on the endometrium of the uterus and stimulates it to proliferate, indicating the start of the uterine cycle. The dominant follicle usually ruptures when it is about 18 to 20 millimeters in size and releases an ovum at about the 14 to 16 day of the menstrual cycle. This process is called ovulation. The follicular phase ends at this stage and the luteal phase begins. As soon as the follicle ruptures and releases the ovum, the cells of the follicle itself undergo certain changes. Fat globules get deposited in them, they grow larger, and they assume a yellowish color. These cells are called luteal cells and the follicle now forms the corpus luteum. The cells of the corpus luteum are capable of producing the hormone progesterone, which, like estrogen, acts on the endometrium. The level of progesterone reaches a peak at the 22nd to the 26th day of the cycle. The regression of the corpus luteum follows, and this cycle goes on and on inside the female's body. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll. Father works and works to earn money. Mother receives the money so that she'll be able to go to the groceries and cook food for their born children. Ergo, the children are able to produce effort and energy to play and study for the development of their overall self. When their parents see their effort and energy, it creates positive feedbacks that motivates them even more to do their work. This is a typical day of a family that can be an analogy of the hormones in the ovarian cycle.